Hi, I'm Carl Mears from Convo Australia, and I have with me Todd. We're going to have a conversation, okay? Great. Nice to see you again. It's great to see you too. I thought I'd start with some questions, and you can ask me some questions yeah. too along the way. What do you think? So first, my first question is, what does conversation mean to you, Todd? Yeah, conversation. That's a really interesting word. I thought that I knew what a conversation was in the past, just that automatic connection with a deaf person chatting in Auslan, going really smoothly, but having a conversation with hearing people being different, having barriers. And that was until Convo Australia. Now it's had a huge impact on me and on my understanding of conversations. It feels different to before. One true story, a friend of mine from university, we catch up pretty often at a restaurant, we go there together, and we used to use writing on notepads or typing to each other on the phone, handing it off, but that would cause it to stretch out to two or even three hours, and even then it felt very shallow, like a very surface conversation, but now since Convo Australia, uh, what we've tried is putting the iPad there, and that really improved the conversation, but I noticed that they'd still be leaning in and uh, because we're in a, a busy, noisy environment. So we had this idea that they would put their headphones on with his mobile and just have that natural conversation directly. We'd talk about all sorts of things and that was a real conversation there. And that's why we've done this. That's why we've we've set up Convo Australia. What about you? What do you think? I agree. And I know the deaf community have the same experiences In a previous role when I was advocating for better access for the deaf community, I saw the struggles and the challenges and it occurred to me what was missing was meaningful conversations and I wanted to change this. That's when I thought, Combo Australia, we need to do things differently. We need to take a different approach to the traditional ways of providing interpreting services. I want to have meaningful conversations on my terms the way I want to. I'd like to share with you one of my experiences. I would take my dog to the vet. And the vet would communicate with me with pen and paper. Then he would talk to the vet nurses and other staff while I waited. Then he would give me some medication and send me on my way. So I would think, okay, what's this medication for? Why is my dog sick? Why does he need to have this medication? So the last time I went to the vet, I got my phone out with my app my interpreter in the pocket, I was able to talk to the vet. I could see the conversation he was having with his members of staff about my dog. I could even see how he he spoke to my dog. And I I felt confident I was part of that conversation. I felt I owned that conversation and that is so valuable. Yeah, so that for you is an experience gain. You weren't robbed of any experience. And, you know, just that small change can have a huge impact. Yeah, that's amazing talking about the past, I think, you know, looking back, time's really just flown. Now we're in 2023. What do you think is your favourite memory of last year with Convo Australia? Well, I think really there are two highlights for me. The one that had the most impact, though, was when we went 24-7. That 24-7 service provision was the first time deaf Australians have had access to interpreting services anytime, anywhere. That was really pivotal. We also have huge diversity in our interpreting team that I'm really proud of. So we have interpreters with different backgrounds, different um, skill sets. And I think, wow, that is key to breaking many barriers that the deaf community have here in Australia. So I think, yeah, 2022, it was a big year for Combo Australia. Uh, What about you? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. 24-7, that was a huge impact and that's something that I'll never forget oh, when that started. It was uh, definitely a first for us and uh, I think that's great moving forward and it's definitely created a lot of opportunities. There's merg- emergency situations, there's people who start work at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning that still need access. So imagine in the past they would miss out on things and they had no choice, whereas now they have options, they have choices. Another memory for me... Uh, is definitely going to the Deaf Festival. It was lovely to meet people in person and, uh, you know, see, because often we've met customers through customer support online, but seeing them in person is is a big difference uh, at the Deaf Festivals there. And that was, you know, a big realisation for people, realising what Convo could do, that it could do all these things. And that was a really fond memory for me, yeah. 
Yes, and just like you said, Todd, uh, I myself went to a number of events and talking to people and the deaf community saying, we should have this, we should have that. And that really inspires me for 2023. How about you? Yeah, well, it's interesting and you're right. I think uh, this year there's going to be some big changes and, you know, we're still working on things, still ongoing. We have a huge commitment to service and we've changed our roles, you and me, and that's helping us to cement our company here. Uh, and you've, you'll continue on your journey with Convo Global and, and I'm here more focused on Convo Australia and on the team that we have locally. So I think it, it helps to strengthen the team and makes it more sustainable as well. Tell us a little bit about your role. Yes, yeah, so my role, I'm pleased to announce, I will be moving to Convo Global as the Senior Vice President for Global Business Development. So I'll be focusing on expansion and growth, also the app and the platform and looking at improvements there so that our customers have a great experience. We know that there's some room for improvement and we're committed to making those changes to give our customers a better experience. And I'm feeling really positive and excited for that. But I have every faith in you, Todd and Danielle and the team to continue to propel Combo Australia forward. I'm really excited uh, to continue working with you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and we know that you, you're not escaping. You're still going to be here. We still have that close partnership with you and we appreciate everything you've done over the last couple of years and we know that there's more to come. So we do really appreciate your new role as well because it's all about opportunities and if we don't take those opportunities, then we'll keep missing out. Just like with conversations, we need to take those opportunities to have those conversations so we don't miss out and, you know, it's uh, been possible because of the work we've done. And we've had an amazing couple of years working together I have full confidence in your ability, yeah, Todd. Thank you. And yeah, thank you. That this journey we've been on together, you know, we've had robust conversations, we've had great laughs along the way, and and have wonderful memories. We've had challenges, and we've worked together so well. We have an amazing team today. So congratulations again with your promotion and your new role. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations.